when you point a camera at the sky, depending on the focal length of your lens, you only get a very limited amount of time before the stars begin to blur and trail. Now, if you're trying to do a star trail shot, that's perfect. But if you're trying to capture the detail in, say, the Milky Way, that's actually a problem. The way that we traditionally overcome this is we put the camera on a tripod, we point it at the Milky Way, and we have to ramp the ISO up to try and get the exposure that we need to capture all of the dim detail. The problem with that is, of course, we all know that high ISO generally means more noise. The only other way around that is to mount the camera on a tracking mount so the stars as we know move across the sky that's what creates our star trails a tracking mount moves the camera with the stars they're difficult to set up they're expensive and they're heavy all pentax cameras have in-body image stabilization the clever engineers at pentax have leveraged that technology we can actually move the sensor to correspond with the movement of the stars. Today we're looking at a Pentax K1 and it has a high precision GPS system built right into the camera. These other two cameras, the KP and the K70, have the same capability with the addition of a GPS module. The camera will sit on a tripod and you will get up to five minutes depending on the focal length of your lens. Now you imagine some of the shots that you could do that are maybe 30, 40 seconds long of the Milky Way, you'll get all of that detail and all of that contrast. And it means that you can shoot at a much lower ISO. And that's the key. It means that when you're finished, there's virtually no processing and you've got a fabulous looking shot. The first thing we need to do is we switch the camera on, put the camera in bulb mode, put all the settings that you want to run. So let's say that you're doing a two minute exposure at 400 ISO. You put all of those settings into the camera so the camera is ready to shoot. And on the top of the camera, there's a little GPS button. We push and hold that and the LED comes on to illuminate and let us know that the GPS function is actually working. Then go into the menu and we come along to the third screen, Astro Tracer enter the Astro Tracer and switch it on. As soon as we switch it on, the precise calibration that was greyed out comes up. We select precise calibration. So we pick up the camera and we rotate it at least 180 degrees in each of the three planes. You don't need to rotate it right around. The camera will actually beep it says precise calibration, OK, calibration complete. We click OK, position the camera where we'd like to point it and begin our shooting sequence. So now that you know how it happens with the K1, I just wanted to quickly explain with the K70 and the KP. The menu structure is exactly the same, the process is exactly the same, except this external module. I'll just slide it on, it just slides into the hot shoe, it's that easy. Lock it in place. The black button on the back that lights up blue. So that's now functioning. Switch the camera on and follow exactly the same menu steps as you do with the K1. The structure is exactly the same, the calibration is exactly the same, it's that easy. So I hope that's made it a little bit clearer and that you realise how fortunate you are that you've actually got a Pentax system. I think you're going to get really excited when you get home and you see the results on the computer screen. Not having to lug all that stuff into the field just makes life so much easier. I mean, you can literally get away with a camera, a lens, a tripod in a bag traveling light means that you can go up to those really dark skies on a mountainside and you can get those real world-class shots so get out there and get shooting hope you enjoy it mm -hmm.